All right, we were playing some Bard Support, running Guardian, Font of Life, Bone Pleading, Revitalize, Zombie Ward, Ultimate Hunter, uh, one CDR double armor. I actually really like double armor this game because we're up against uh, two ADCs and Jin and Senna bot lane. Um, our 2v2 isn't great, honestly. Um, I don't think Sivir Bard synergizes super well necessarily, but uh, the good news is, is I didn't pick Bard to have good 2v2 potential. I picked Bard because... Senna and Jin are super immobile champions, and late game I should be able to um, ult them pretty easily, set up team fights for my team. So that's what we're mainly looking to do. Also, um, always do love Bard anytime you're with a ADC that should, um, and then large emphasis on the word should, be able to farm safely by themselves. That's not always the case. Uh, a lot of the times you think an ADC is safe, and then they just run it down somehow. So, those are the two main goals of the game. Um, get some roams off, and let Sivir farm up. And then late game, looking to ult and engage on the immobile, uh, immobile ADCs that they have, and set stuff up that way. Yeah, what's up, Cade? Also, Pantheon is pathing down, so I can see something good coming our way very shortly here. I do kind of have to watch out for my mana, though, because I need to be able to make sure I have some available to make a play happen. Although, uh, he's going Gromp. I would have preferred he came straight here. Uh, okay, I got the Q off. This would be really sad if not only do we not get the kill, but they get a return kill. That wasn't terrible. I think Pantheon should have just flashed earlier because the amount of time it took for us to get on top of them, they were at that point too close to their tower, and then it's a lot more difficult to kill them at that point. So getting on them sooner rather than later was pretty important, I think. Sivir doesn't necessarily have a way to regen, but I do have these that I can grab for mana. I wish you would stick around, actually. I, I think there's potential here, especially with Pantheon wrapping back around. Alright, we're really limit testing here. Should have saved my Q, I suppose. This should still be a kill, though. Very nice. I think he misclicked on the portal, to be honest. Wrapped back around. Yeah, I well, I don't know if I necessarily should have uh, waited to use my Q. I think one of us should wait for the other, but without game comms, it's kind of difficult to say, hey, you stun first. If he flashes, then I'll use my Q. Or, hey, I'll use my Q first. If he flashes, then you use your stun. But the fact that we used it both at the same time, definitely not ideal. But good, uh, good outcome. Um, I hopped on, played Zach went uh, 11 117 and decided to retire again. Nice. Did you go full AP or did you just happen to grab that many kills playing tank? I have noticed that I tend to get a lot more kills these days on Zach just because his build path is a little bit different. So you can kind of go somewhat AP and it feels super good actually. I don't really see us getting a whole lot accomplished here, but I'm gonna go for it anyways. I mean, even with that stun, probably just chunking him. Yeah, not getting anything done here. Would have liked to at least proc one of my relic shields there, just so I could get that cooldown going again, but no biggie. And also, so far so good as far as, like, I left my EDC alone for two seconds and they didn't die. That's definitely an improvement compared to the Yuge. And hopefully my mid gets a solo kill now, considering I just uh, chunked their mid laner down halfway. Ah, one for one? I feel like he kind of choked that, if I'm being honest. Last I saw, he was half HP, so something went poorly.
Okay, not bad. That was a pretty good sidestep by me to avoid the Mordekaiser, but didn't end up making a difference anyways. I also don't know if the Q flash forward was even needed. Because I did get the Q flash in order to... Uh, you know what? YOLO. Let's just go for it. Want to get this kill over as well. Very nice. That guy is six. I'm kind of scared. Wish I didn't take that kill, but I'll take it. Uh, not bad. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if the Q flash forward was necessary because although it did look kind of cool and we did get the two man stun, we weren't able to follow up on the Jin anyway, so having him stunned didn't make a huge difference. Aside from maybe not allowing him to get damage off on us while we were diving. Not bad, though. And then, yeah, the, the dive after, like, the chase behind the tower was pretty greedy. Um, I saw Pantheon was going balls deep, and I figured, you know, why not? Let's just limit test a little bit since this game's going well so far. Um, didn't see how, but he got the Jin, and then kind of the Mordekaiser just kind of, like, landed on my lap, so was able to grab him as well. Um, let's get this over here. This is a bit greedy, though, because I could be on Vision, considering we just fought here. I think we could just go for something here, right? I kind of forgot they had exhaust. I guess if my server's exhausted, we don't have nearly enough damage. But I think still pretty happy with that overall. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, I think we're okay here. He's stunned up. Very nice. Okay. Um, I honestly was not prepared for the Mord the Mordekaiser to ult my Sivir when she was in the wall. So that kind of threw me off a bit. But ended up going three for one. Kale got a solo kill now. I'm 206, so I'm getting enough gold through kills to kind of um, prolong me in this game. Or... What's the word I'm looking for? Allow me to snowball this game, but also not taking so many kills to the point that I'm holding my team back. I am a little upset that Pantheon has six of our kills because he can fall off, and then he's all of our damage, and it's not enough damage, and we just lose. But I think we're doing okay enough to the point that we should be able to snowball this game as a team. I mean, I'm here, but I don't think there's anything we can get accomplished. Maybe just trying to force something that's not there. Okay, they don't have exhaust this time. Okay, very nice. Well, I did say the two things I wanted to do this game were ult the immobile ADCs and set up for my team and roam. And I was expecting a lot of that to happen later in the game. That was too close for comfort. I mean, hey, dude, if you want to run at him and get ulted, that's fine. Personally, I'd prefer not to. I'll wait for you to come out. Uh oh. Wait. I feel like that second shot should not have hit me. All good. 
Yeah, Sivir, I mean, he looked confident. He was running at that Mordekaiser like he knew he was going to get ulted and win the fight. Personally, I didn't have that confidence myself, so I decided to hang back a bit. All good, though. A little unfortunate, though. Again, Pantheon's getting all the kills, so... I don't think it'll be an issue. I think we should be fine, but we'll see if that ends up hurting us at all. Um, that's also twice in a row I've ulted Senna... The first time she used Exhaust, neither time she used Flash, though. So I don't think that the next ult attempt will be successful. She'll probably just Flash it, or might even have Exhaust up again to prevent us from getting a kill. But probably going to look for it again if it presents itself. I also like the, the possibility to dive mid. I guess Dragon's a smart call, though. Who's their jungler again? Oh, it's a... Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Mordekaiser is their jungler. I was I was kind of confused as to why he was around so often. I like a possible 2v3 mid lane here. And then I can ult tower if we want to dive. Oh, It's my first misplay all game. I was like right on top of him, so if I didn't time that perfectly, it was just going to go right through him. Maybe it was a good thing, though, because Diana's showing up, and then maybe he could have ulted one of us, and then it went bad. So, I guess it's all good. I am here if we want to look for something. Actually, I'm on a ward. He's on a recall, so maybe that's just for the best. Okay. Just a gentleman's agreement, I guess. What am I watching here? Ugh. That was ugly. Missed that as well. The Q, not enough damage on it. Okay. Here's that Sen ulti that I was maybe th considering. Uh, okay, maybe my Diana's on the same page as me. Sivir? He looks like he has Flash, but I don't think he does. Um, okay, we got off to a really good start, and then since then I've been playing a little bit sloppy. That's a couple ult opportunities that I kind of botched. But still not bad overall. Um, I would I will say the game is looking a bit closer than I was hoping it would be. So my fear of Pantheon having all of our damage and then falling off is looking like a possible outcome. So maybe we should focus a little bit more on objectives. I've kind of been just running around looking to get as many kills as possible. and uh, Maybe that's not ideal. So Rift Herald, Dragon in 2 minutes, Mid Tower, stuff like that. Okay, we take that. Managed to get a kill without my ulti, so that's good. I do like Rift here. Their top laner is Nasus, who I don't think I've seen a single time this entire game. But he is still a Nasus, so he's probably strong anyways. I think we need to crack mid-tower with this. We could potentially look to engage with my ulti. 
And then if we fail that, we can just go with the... Um, I was kind of hoping he would play in Fog of War a little bit and then let me ult. He kind of just walked at them, which wasn't what I had in mind. I think I'm okay with that. I like the possibility of what could have happened there. Um, we only had eyes on the Jin to start, so if he is in fact by himself, then we can uh, collapse on him. Fight's kind of split here, though. I don't really know how to feel about this. Pantheon got ulted, I believe, and he has no support when he comes out of that. I'm going to try to get somewhat close. Okay, let's just... I think this probably is a lost cause. Let's just dip. Not ideal. Yeah, I think, um... Man, okay, I'll, I'm gonna gather my thoughts after whatever this is finishes. Okay, it's not looking bad, actually. Okay. Don't know what happened over there, but I took care of the Kiana. All right, you take that. I'm finally able to make it, and it's my birthday too. Yo, TJ, thank you for the prime. Happy birthday, my man. Welcome back to the Nasty Nation. Oh shit, 36 months. Happy uh, three-year anniversary, man, and birthday. Fell on the same day. Um. Okay, that was pretty good. I think. Okay, to gather my thoughts here, I have to like kind of recap the last couple minutes. The Rift Herald play, I liked the idea to potentially go after Jin here, but then Senna and Mordekaiser showed up, so no harm, no foul. I double stun after the ulti, we back off. No, like I said, no harm, no foul. We get two towers off of the Rift, and then after that, I think we just dip. My ulti is kind of our main engage. Not having that really hurts us. Oh, am I trolling here, potentially? I don't... I guess Mordekaiser didn't have ulti yet, because if he did, he should have just ulted me. I'm gonna open that portal as a possibility. I don't know if anybody actually wants to take it, though. We're getting to a point where our Kale's kind of huge, huh? That is not how you play Senna. Oh, never mind. He's just trolling, cuz that's an easy dub. 